Okay, so in uh, this video, we're going to discuss um, the uh, advanced uh, alveolar bone loss in the uh, anterior region and the lower incisors, and we will see different types of um, bone loss uh, uh, in this area. Now, as you can see in this epical radiograph, which shows the lower uh, four, uh, lower central incisors and the lateral incisors, um, um, uh, apparently there is marked loss of alveolar bone uh, that has uh, that has gone in different uh, levels. Uh, but what I want to um, concentrate here is the the. Uh, uh, up, uh, the uh, random way of bone loss after the uh, alveolar crest is, lo is lost by the effect of the destruction of the uh, alveolar bone uh, it assumes or it takes different parts uh, different shapes but it is not necessarily uh, of, um, uh, of a, a unified type of bone loss. It may take any uh, any um, uh, direction, it may take any shape, uh, depending on local factors, depending on uh, uh, occlusal stresses and forces uh, uh, that might be um, specific or for each tooth that you can, <coughs> uh, 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 that is present in the, uh, uh, in the area. See, uh, we, when we start with the uh, lower lateral incisor, the, uh, the uh, uh, right lateral incisor, as you can see the bone loss over here, which is marked, it is uh, almost two thirds of the uh, of the uh, of the bone is lost, and um, you cannot actually say what that this is a vertical type of bone loss or a horizontal type of bone loss. However, the bone which is lost here. Uh, assume it's like a crater like or a surrounded shape uh, and if we take a radiograph in the future you will find that this bone unless of, of course it is treated it, it cannot be regenerated unless by uh, 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 bone grafting but uh, if we take a radiograph future radiograph uh, we will see that the level and the shape on the direction of the bone might be different it means that there is a progression <coughs> of the uh, uh, alveolar bone loss, of course, always it goes in an epical in an epical direction, uh, uh, increasing the root uh, root uh, the root, crown root ratio, so that uh, you uh, uh, here as in this tooth you can see that one third of the uh, root is still surrounded by uh, bone. The uh, other two thirds actually are completely lost. In uh, another radiograph, uh, sorry, in another tooth, which is the one which is just adjacent to this one, the central incisors, incisor, the right side. Uh, here you can see, uh, if you concentrate on the radiograph, you will see that there are two levels of bone. This one, uh, uh, see, this one which is now marked is the lingual side of bone. And the other part, the, uh, this one, is the buccal side of bone. Uh, to uh, b b b b being the radiograph of, um, I mean, the radiograph being of um, uh, two dimensional. Actually, you cannot locate the buccal and the lingual side uh, of bone. But here, if you concentrate on this radiograph, you will see that structures which are um, situated closer to the film i.e. it is lingual or palatal in the upper, they will appear more radioopaque and they will appear sharper than structures which are located away from the film, that is closer to the x-ray in uh, the buccal or the labial sac. So, if we go and concentrate on this, we will see that the level of bone on the lingual side actually is more uh, is, uh, 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 is less when it comes to the uh, radiation than in, uh, to the sorry to the bone resorption than it is on the buccal side, which is more uh, the common thing uh, is that the bone on the buccal side 
tends to absorb faster than the, uh, the, than the um, uh, uh, lingual sac. So uh, here in this uh, in this tooth, which is in the same area almost, you can see that the bone loss is more advanced. There is almost uh, practically practically only the tip of the to tooth is still surrounded by a, uh, by bone. So in reality, this tooth uh, clinically we should expect that the tooth is uh, hypermobile uh, because there is no bone support and it might uh, th there might be spontaneous uh, 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 ev avulsion of the tooth because of the loss of the uh, of the uh, bone uh, <coughs> supporting the tooth. Uh, so uh, in this case. Uh, the uh, amount of bone is lost and again it does not assume any uh, form it just goes uh, random uh, there we cannot say that this is a vertical type of bone loss or a horizontal type of bone loss it's a just whole bone loss that is described radiographically it is described as a severe type of alveolar bone loss that is almost communicating with the, uh, with the apex of the tooth if you shift your eye to the uh, the other central incisor, again you will see that there is a bone loss, but it is not as severe as the uh, right central incisor. The left central incisor actually has bone loss, and there is a defect uh, in the uh, in the um, in the bone. Uh, here, this is another type of uh, of bone loss. I will just show you in this area. As you can see, which in this area marked over here, uh, the the bone loss here actually has taken more than one place. You can see that the uh, area of of uh, the lower radio opacity, which is located on the buccal, uh, has gone uh, again to the two thirds of the tooth, while the area which is seen with a radicular radius, uh, with a, a circular radiolucency is located on the uh, on the lingual side of the tooth. Again, those are two separate areas that apparently in this 2D uh, radiograph would uh, uh, appear that they have taken different paths of, uh, of bone resorption. Uh, the other tooth, which is the lateral incisor, the, le the left lateral incisor again has uh, almost uh, uh, one third remaining of the bone and you can see that the lingual bone which is uh, has a higher radio opacity uh, is actually uh, uh, denser than the one which is on the buccal uh, side. Uh, so what we want to say here is that bone bone resorption when it is advanced and viola bone resorption by the effect of periodontal disease it does not lo it does is no longer assumes a, a specific shape but it takes any shape according to the uh, uh, different factors. Radiographically what we can do though is that we can measure the distance just to compare it or verify it with the lingual uh, with the clinical uh, uh, measurements and we can see again the bone uh, level uh, on the buccal, lingual, mesial and distal sides of each tooth. Uh, of course the, 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 the clinical uh, measurements are not always consistent with the uh, with the with the uh, with the radiographic examination uh, uh, because uh, the rad what the radiograph shows actually is always always less than in uh, uh, in the clinical uh, situation. So what you see here in the radiograph when you open a flap, you will see that the bone loss. In, in reality on clinical examination is much more than the radiograph because the radiograph actually does not show the full extent of the of the um, uh, of the bone resorption uh, due to different factors exposure factors technique factors and the ability of the radiograph and the uh, digital sensor to show is uh, the uh, 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 the subtle or the weak uh, changes in the uh, uh, in the book.